Well, we'll start off from Lagos, where Dangote Refinery has taken delivery of the world's biggest crude distillation column. Yusuf Akogo witnessed the arrival of the equipment. That is the arrival of crude distillation column from China. The equipment is a primary facility used for refining crude oil into petroleum products. Crude distillation column is capable of refining 650,000 barrels per stream a day. Presently, there is no crude distillation column in the world which is of this size. This is the world's largest crude column in the refining business. Crude distillation column works on the principle of fractional distillation. Uh, crude is inserted on the top of the column at an inlet heat temperature of 165 degrees. Uh, it travels way down to the bottom of the barrel where the maximum temperature is 357 degrees. Uh, along the way, it is makes contact with a lot of surface area with the internal trays that are put into this column. And when any of the components of the crude pass through the trays and achieve a height inside the column, which equi is equivalent to the boiling point of the cargo, the cargo condenses into a liquid and is extracted out of the column. Mr. Rajen asked that the refinery, when completed, will provide cost-effective high-grade petroleum products for Nigeria and neighboring African countries. This is also the first port of its type that has been built in the world. This is called an equilibrium sandbar breakwater. This is a very, very sustainable and eco-friendly design, which nobody has ever built in the world. And with the refining capability that this column is going to, is going to give us, is I think going to be a force multiplier for the Nigerian economy, because there's going to be uh, uh, there will be a lot of uh, local demand which will be served. There will be surplus capacity which will be exported, and we therefore see that uh, there's going to be a huge savings in terms of foreign exchange uh, that Nigeria is going to have. NPA pilot Lawal Sahid accompanied the vessel from Apapa to Dangote Jetty. He says it takes experience and patience to move the vessels to the final destination due to sea waves. The speed limit has to be a bit reduced. So our speed from Lagos and Kogi down to a this environment is about not more than 7 knots. 6.5, which, which takes us almost 7 hours to get here. But the actual thing in pilotage, as a pilot, the main thing in India is uh, patient and safety of the job is paramount. Dangote Refinery is currently training young Nigerian engineers in India in preparation for the takeoff of its refinery and petrochemical plants. Yusuf Akogu, TVC News, Lagos.